Three. We're still alive. This is the entire yeah. marathon we right here. We this, this race is what it's all led up to. All right, dude, we are ready. I guess it's worth noting that uh, you'll be hearing sound from poor salt and uh, not on my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I guess uh, we will start in three, two, one, go. Yeah! Yeah! He's gonna die to people. Mystic Quest for best Final Fantasy. For best, for game. best game of all time <laughs> yeah, ever. My bad. <laughs> Not only Final Fantasies. And poor Salt is off to a minor frame lead while on my dick trails behind. <laughs> I've never been more serious about a video game in my life than right now. <laughs> Best speed game. <laughs> wow! Oh <my> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and on my dick takes a commanding lead. <laughs> okay. If I miss one more time, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Did it! Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Layout. Holy crap, <laughs> dude. That was amazing. What is my luck at this house, man? <laughs> <laughs> it was all the more better because I got a crit my first hit. Well, I guess we can do some some sort of commentary. Nah. Uh, nah. <laughs> <laughs> eh. <You're> right. <laughs> I'll just get to get a terrible idea. This game is so awesome. Don't get it. <laughs> People should just bask in the awesomeness. That is true. <clears throat> Yo, dude, minor frame save. I didn't have to jump over the dude. Catching up, man. I jumped a bolt over both the dudes. Correct. That's some real tech right there. Jumping slower than walking. I think you were telling me yesterday that you're not a real speedrunner until you've worked on Mystic Quest. That's right. Well, it's true. You know, my next speedrunner will yeah. be a real speedrunner. Yeah. He's never doing this for years. He's never doing it. still a man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I didn't <laughs> heal. <laughs> oh, shit. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, the crit, the crit dude. Crit. Uh, this is any percent for those asking. This is everybody. <laughs> I think that to even things up, Feral should do hundred <laughs> percent. <laughs> Don't know the route. I Agreed. Think can figure it out then. Oops. No. Oh! Nice. <laughs> you gotta make sure poor Salt is at full health for this boss. I do. Good, good miss. Nice 415 Minotaur, dude. <laughs> dude that, that's better than my old PB was. <laughs> my glorious PB.
probably. Good. You, played, you guys haven't played this? Game? I haven't played this. Yeah. No. no. Never? You haven't either? No. Wow. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> <laughs> this is actually. Well, I know it's gonna happen after this race. You guys, you guys <laughs> yeah, are gonna no, do a blind no, race. Dude. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm down. Probably the last commentary. Alright. Yeah, I haven't played the game either. Yeah. I, 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 I played up to a, like. <laughs> Oh shit. Alright, I'll just have another game. Why is this all first person and shit? How about that for a question? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> so basically, yes, Mystic Quest is like a dumbed down Final Fantasy game that was created in the West. And uh, it was kind of a way to try to get Western runners into RPGs because Japanese developers, you know, creating the Final Fantasy series huge over in. Eastern Shores and not as popular but had a pretty cult following here so they decided to make Final Fantasy Mystic Quest and it's casually um, it's a fairly straightforward game you notice like when Vic died at the beginning that he just started the battle over it's really not as punishing in a sense as many of the Final Fantasy Super Nintendo games um, it proved to be pretty popular so they actually released it in Japan as Final Fantasy USA um, but it has a lot of basic RPG elements kind of throughout that are fairly simple to get a hold of. The story itself is a story, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's there. <laughs> things, um, things do happen. But yeah, so it's, it's a little more forgiving. As a speed game, though, it's not forgiving at all. There's some RNG elements later on that definitely make or break the run. Um, Elmagus can tell people all about that at some point. But, you know, like, Vic missing is just... Hilarious. The Vic, very first battle just really just kind of <clears throat> epitomized the entire game. Like, Vic got crit, died. I got a crit, and I won, I won in two turns. Like, it's... This game is an RNG fest, basically. And uh, there's not really an overworld map in this game either. It's it's not totally linear, but instead of actually exploring the world map and having battles and going around, you have basically icons that you go to with a cursor. So it's like you land on an icon and then you can go left or right to like a village or to the next dungeon. And so as far as the speedrun goes, it's nice because you can just like, oh, okay, let's go over here and you can see that the enemies are not um, randomly generated like they are in other Final Fantasy games, but they're on the map and uh, there's some enemies that will be getting skipped and then uh, some enemies that, you know, they're fighting just to gain levels and yada yada, but uh, do you want to talk about the save file setup a little bit? Yeah, so this, uh, if, you want, if you want to be technically correct, this is kind of New Game Plus. Um, to actually do the sp speed run without losing your sanity more than you already do, uh, you need to have a save file with an endgame Phoebe. Um, this game has a glitch where basically <clears throat> the last... Uh, oh, this is going to be not so good. I forgot, <laughs> I forgot to heal and stuff. Alright, um... <laughs> I only have, uh... Alright, whatever. Uh, so basically the last save file that you loaded, it will load that companion data into um, the game's memory. And, it, and then it basically never overwrites that. So, uh, until, until you reload another file. Um, so right now, even though we're at the very beginning of the game, Tristam, our companion, you, you get various companions throughout the game, he has the... I only has the stats, but I think he has the stat bonuses. Oh my god, um, <laughs> He has the stat bonuses of the end game companion. Um, it, it doesn't really help so much for Tristram, because he's a piece of garbage anyway. But for the other, um, the other companions, it helps a lot. Um, they also have the same resistances, which really helps. Um, So this is Flamish Rex. <laughs> He's a total, total d bag. Uh, you saw, uh, you saw against. Um, we've already used uh, the life spell to kill enemies. Um, we did that against the Minotaur in the very beginning. 
Um, life is actually bugged in this version. You see this guy is undead. You might be thinking, well, why don't they just cast life on him? Um, reverse. Uh, so it's it's bugged as, as classified as a zombie attack, which means that you can use it to kill normal normal living enemies, but you cannot use it to kill undead enemies. Um, so that's why it, it's, it's fixed in the Japanese version, because the Japanese version came after. So they're like, oh, this isn't working. Let's fix it. So you can actually, in the Japanese version, you can uh, cast life on this guy and it'll kill him. But it turns out to be better to be able to life normal enemies. We'll be using that a lot later. I think another interesting aspect, uh, you can see that Tristam is set to manual on Vix game and auto on Feral's game. So another feature in this is that nice bomb, dude. <laughs> dude, manipulation. Manipulation. Another feature in this is like the the way menus work isn't traditional either, in the sense that when you get your turn, you you know can select a spell and do all this stuff. You'll see them once they select a spell at the beginning, just kind of mashing through the menu um, because the cursor has memory in that regard. But uh, yeah, the companions are kind of lame in some fights. I'm sure we'll see it later on, and we can kind of talk about it. Dead heat right now. Yeah, forgetting the heal and seed before that fight didn't really help my cause. <laughs> I, have, I have one more seed. Oh, that means I don't have to dupe another. <laughs> New route. I haven't duped any. So, um, <clears throat> the magic system in this game is is like FF1, where you ha and you know the other early FFs where you have. Basically, certain numbers, uh, a certain number of times you can cast levels of spells. And there's three different categories in this game. There's black, white, and wizard. Um, and so you have certain certain allotments for each. And there are items called seeds in this game, where you can use them. And they basically ref refill your magic, uh, which is really good. And it's made even better by the fact that you can dupe them. Um, basically, all, all you have to do to dupe is use it with yourself and then back out and run away. And what that does is the game's like, oh, okay, you use the seed, I'll add it back to your inventory when you run away. But you never actually used it, so it just adds one. Um, so we do that normally twice. I only need to do it once because I didn't actually use one. <laughs> and then later on, we're going to uh, underflow it, so we'll have you know 255 of them. But they're pretty useful items. Yeah, by far magic is the fastest way to get through encounters by like a very substantial margin. So the more you can use magic, the faster you're going to be able to go. And then if we have all the seeds that never really worry about magic, then that's what we're going to use the whole time. There's various puzzle elements scattered throughout these dungeons. And uh, they're really repetitive I think <laughs> as far as just like pushing blocks around and maybe blowing up an entrance and never really goes much beyond that but uh, I, I've never really seen anybody like make mistakes in puzzles like that. So oh really? I haven't watched too many people but I'm waiting <laughs> well, for Vic here. <laughs> there is a, a pillar well, pushing. You'll be happy to know I have actually later messed on. one up. Yeah. <laughs> that puzzle sucks casually I know that but <laughs> we're gonna sequence break uh, that dungeon, though, yeah. just a little slightly. Uh, if you have any interest in running this game, and as of right now, I'm sure that everyone is wishing they only had the edge of their seat because that's all they need. Um, El Magus has a really, really in-depth and up-to-date speedrunning guide on this game on a game FAQs with a full. ASCII logo and everything, but uh, yeah, it's legit. like it's a super legit guide, and so it's really funny when people are curious about this game, and if you Google it, that's one of the first things that, that pops up for Mystic Quest speedruns, but if you have any interest at all, and it's a fun game to run, it's a fun game to race, 
And uh, it's very fun to race. I'd say <laughs> it's very fun to race. Like yeah. a weekly race is what you guys have been kind of doing, right? I mean, it seems like it anyway. Uh, it's died down a bit. There was a time when we were doing races like once or twice a week. But there, there's a group of guys that definitely race this game and are down to race it if you have any interest. And uh, I wouldn't say it's an easy game to pick up, but it's not the most difficult RPG to run. It seems like this is the kind of game where it's not difficult to run. You're going to finish a run. Whether or not you finish a run yeah. fast is right. another story. And yeah, the Max's Guide is so is insanely in depth. Um, you can just if you even if you've never played the game before, you can just use that, and it'll like it, it details literally everything. Like oh, you know, <clears throat> it tells you exactly where to go in this dungeon and how to fight each different enemy pack. Because like you said, um, you can see the enemies on the screen, but what what enemies you actually get is random. Um, and in fact, if you run away. It can change, <laughs> which we do do, which we did do earlier. Um, and you saw Bick got a toad and duped the seed. Then I didn't need to dupe seed, so I just fought him. But when he fought, he, when he ran away and came back, it was different. Yeah, every enemy has uh, multiple packs that they can have, and if you don't have the desired output, you just—it's really not that huge of a time loss. I mean, if you're competing to cut that 152 ridiculous, <laughs> uh, then maybe you wouldn't, but like if the pack that Feral was just on wasn't the desired one, you just run away and hop back into battle and it can change things so that it'll actually be faster for you depending on, you know, what spells you have at the time and that kind of thing. But So it's pretty forgiving in that regard that if you're racing and it's something you want to pick up and you die, then, you know, you don't have to forfeit and it might cost you some time, but... Chances are everybody else is dying too. So, yeah. especially later on, it'll be. Seems like all fun and be. games right now, but there will be salt. A lot of it. Oh crap! Didn't take her off auto. So yeah, there there is for for how simple the game is, there is a surprising. Oh crap! Game. Didn't take her didn't off take auto. Her <laughs> There's a surprising amount of menuing, um, just because, like, when, uh, oh, nice. My dick almost got riddled, we're, we're okay. Um, so yeah, um, so basically, like, one example is, um, like, so fi fire, if there are three enemies, fire will kill all these guys, um, but if Phoebe's on auto, and the two enemies are different, like, right there, Hedgehogs and Scorpions. She won't actually cast fire on auto. You have to select it manually. Whereas if it's all, if they're all the same, you can just leave it on auto and she'll do it. Um, so there's a lot of like little stuff. Yo, his dick got riddled though. <laughs> yeah, the amount of work that's been put into understanding what Phoebe does when she's in auto is pretty ridiculous. Um, I guess when the companion is in auto, it's basically just that is given. The circumstances of the fight, the enemy pack, and uh, your character's health, like they have basically once character reaches this amount of hit points, heal. Um, and so you'll, you know, if you are new to the game or you forget to switch, then you can waste a turn by healing and you can get in trouble. Yeah, that, that happens, way. A, happens a lot. Yeah, actually. <laughs> and it's, it's really easy to forget. And so that adds a, an element to the game. The, flying diaper dudes. Um, <laughs> so there's a little bit more than just mashing the A button. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. Yeah, the companions will heal if you're... Uh, if, if anyone's below half health, they heal. So it's... pretty easy to tell when you're using numbers. Uh, scale's actually pretty easy to tell, too, because you just have to count the number of yellow boxes. But... Uh, you'll probably see that a few times in this. Nice. Riddle my fucking dick, dude. So these guys, yo, he, yo, he did it anyway. Okay. So we're we're okay. <laughs> but if you're level six, you're probably gonna go before those guys. If you're level seven, you should go before those guys. So them going first at level seven. 
And it's really annoying if they riddle you, because he can do what you tell him to do, or you can just do something random, like for a bit he wasted a quake. And so for the uh, the next worm fight, he had to do something I don't actually, I didn't actually see, but... <laughs> Alright, <Oop>. whatever. <laughs> um, Benjamin is not necessary in this fight, you just kind of... Be unhappy if he blinds Phoebe, but whatever. The strat here is you just shoot him with arrows and hope you crit. And hope you don't die. And you pretty much use bombs with Benjamin. Yeah, for the most part. Really not. Phoebe does a lot of the heavy lifting. Just went limp. Right. Went limp on my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, on the crit. That's good. Nice. Ah. Mm. <sighs> <laughs> she is Make up for it if she gets like four crits right now. There's a lot of little movement things on the map too, like non intended, just little shortcuts that you can do throughout just because the game's programmed Please. really, really well. And uh, Very well. if you just watch them while they're moving through dungeons and you can see a couple yes. of them, they're pretty obvious. I mean, they wouldn't, they aren't like super intuitive on casual playthroughs, but um, just little things that they do that save. Small amounts of time. So I'd explain what's going on in the story right now, but I honestly have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anything really is going on. There's this dude on a Floating on a cloud in a cave. It's... Yeah, the story in this game is pretty ridiculous. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I guess see, that could be said about any Final Fantasy game, but I remember playing this as a kid and just thinking that, like, the ice levels were cool. I always thought the music was really cool in this game. The yeah, music is, is amazing quite good. in this game. Yeah. Which that's obviously what they put the most work into. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Are there any random battles? Mm, nope. No. Sweet. It's just the only thing random about it is the formation that you get. There is a spot that will look like it does though, because there's a kind of armor, there's a level that where the enemies are invisible for a while. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. the next dungeon. So it'll look like he's getting into random encounters, but he's not. <coughs> so here where Farrell is at, he's pushing these pillars around to nope. be able to jump across platforms. And, uh, there's a pretty quick way to do it. Yeah, we're gonna do what, what, look, what, which, like, when you see it, it's like, oh, that, that makes sense. But <laughs> it's, it's something that you would never actually figure out when yeah, you're not doing a casual. Yeah, not the route. There's a lot of pushing around in this dungeon when you play through it casually, just trying to figure out where you can jump and what ladders to climb and where to actually go. It's not like a huge, confusing mess or anything, but it's definitely not as quick as they're about to do it. Yeah, and you can mess this up if you happen to push a pillar against the wall in the wrong place. You can't pull. Uh, so like if I push it into that corner, that's to the upper left, then the pillar is just dead and I have, to, I have to leave and come back and all the monsters respawn. And it's pretty easy to do that too, actually. It really is. Because <laughs> it's just, it's based upon like little mm. tiles, you know, like... So this is the, uh, sequence break. I forget how you're supposed to, uh, to do yeah, that. I, I think... You push and you, you go all the way around. 
and hop across and then yeah. go back out. Like you yeah, go we, don't, we don't want to do yeah, that. Yeah, it's ridiculous. We're just going to do this instead. <laughs> Alright, remember to seed this time. Oh, oh yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I see. The menu in, in this game, I think, is actually pretty good. Uh, as far as being able to do it quickly. The way it's set up uh, in battle, too. You'll see them rattling through their spell books and stuff like that, and it's it's actually pretty quick. This game would be super brutal if you had to scroll down and stuff all the time. It's just a horizontal menu as opposed to a vertical menu like most Final Fantasy games are. I think I still want him alive for this part. <laughs> Alright, whatever. So this guy's a crab. It's weak to lightning, which mostly makes sense, so we just thunder him to death. Giant and crab again. Yeah. And he's weak against axe, so we're hitting him as we can. And I've sure that it's been noticed, but you also use the bombs on the map as you go through to just blow up caverns or uh, in the first dungeon before there's rib cages that you can blow apart and get into. There's different ways to use the bomb to make them go a little bit quicker, or it's mandatory in some spots. So for the most part, we're not picking up uh, we, we avoid a lot of chests unless they're necessary spells, or um, coins, which is what you need to beat the game. Um, <clears throat> or, we, or we'll pick up like bomb refills. You, you do have a limited number of bombs. <clears throat> you can pick up chests that will refill by 10. Um, <clears throat> we saw me pick up there were refreshers, and in the bone dungeon we pick up uh, cure potions, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> But that's all. That's all to set up a, a pretty big glitch later on. Um, that requires items be in a certain what? order in your inventory. The enemy sprites in this game are actually pretty unique and cool. <clears throat> is uh, as enemies take damage, their sprites change completely in some cases, um, or they really start to deteriorate. Um, you know, like their armor will break, or they start to slouch over because they're dying. And you can see whenever they kill enemies or uh, do massive damage to them, their sprites change as they take damage, which is, I don't know that I've I thought it was seen any cool. other game that yeah, ever does cool. that. It's pretty cool. And most, some of the enemies is kind of weird, <laughs> but yeah. they're pretty cool for the most part. Yeah, and then bosses have, I think, usually four different sprites. Um, and so you can gauge that to... You use that to figure out, you know, roughly how much life they have. It, it seems like matter. bosses always like lay down as they they just slowly get lowered mm -hmm. down. Yeah. <laughs> I guess the big needs one more seed. <laughs> okay. You need big news one more seed. Oh fuck. Uh, wouldn't that put you at zero seeds right now? <laughs> no, I have one. Yeah, that's all he needs. <laughs> Except Farrell did 361. <laughs> Sorry for confusion, he says. <laughs> dude, I love these bird sprites, dude. That is the best <laughs> animation ever. Just all their feathers falling. So good.
So this is the part that uh, Velociraptor talked about earlier, where you don't actually see the enemies oh, yeah. on the screen. Um, but the encounters aren't random. It's not like a step counter or something like that. They know where they're going to be getting into the battles. Um, and that jump, it's been used a couple times throughout, but it's another unique feature in the overworld of this, where you can jump over chests and uh, they do a couple... I mean, it's not really like a secret break, I guess, but uh, they do some things to shorten up routes throughout where they jump over chests or other items to progress faster, I guess. Yeah. Jumping is slower than uh, walking, though, so that's why we don't really do it on a... We don't, you know, move by jumping. Although sometimes... Like, if I get floor two... I'll, I'll just start jumping all over the place, because at that point you lost 10 minutes anyway, so... <laughs> oh, I should've... <laughs> she hit anyway, alright. <laughs> nice. I feel like that's ex exceedingly rare. <laughs> yeah, well, you, I mean, she's usually not blind in this part, either. Oh, let's cure that one of But yeah, in this in this game, blind does actually work. Um, and you'll see, actually, strangely enough, um, like so, we we're we're using defense here and there. How defend works is um, the person doing the defending will take all the attacks from the enemies that turn, which is really weird because like it can be something, you know, like so like a AOE attacks. Um, the defending character will take all the damage. Um, yeah. Which is just super weird. It doesn't really make sense. But if you're blind, you can't actually defend. Or, I mean, you can. It just doesn't do anything. Which is one. Um, which is one. Which is one thing. I legitimately did not know that. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, that was almost a, a good battle. I actually had a good string of battles for a good while. It's fine. Yeah, a lot, a lot of time can be gained or lost just based on uh, monster packs. Yeah, but uh, Pharaoh's been in the lead for a little bit here, but... This doesn't mean anything. Nothing, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> this lead means absolutely nothing. If I should heal, probably not. Whatever. No, you're good, dude. What's the worst thing that happen? <laughs> yeah, I mean, the worst thing that happens is you, you die. Just you just redo it. Yeah. So that that battle, that's another reason they don't run from battles, like we were talking about earlier. If you run from a battle, then the enemy's still there. So it's not like uh, you can run and then carry on. That's why they they fight all these battles. Yeah. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> So that heal potion was the last item we needed to set up the glitch later on. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna do it twice. It's, ba it's basically an item underflow, and we'll talk about it more when we get there. Races, who's usually coming out on top? 
Uh, kind of depends on who it is, so... Yeah, it depends on who's, who's in the um, race. Um, you like... The core, I guess, mm. if you will, is typically me, Feral, and Dancho. Usually Feral will win that one. Um... Oftentimes, Magus will join us as well, and he will just, and just obliterate all of us. He just yeah. destroys us yeah. Yeah. in the contest. And then, on occasion, I've seen Bowie in the race, too. Right? Oh, yeah, Bowie the hero Bowie's also been <coughs> runs. Up yeah. yeah, he's come whenever he's awake. <laughs> um, FF yeah. Gamer has actually joined us once. That was a fun race, too. I agree. Right. I also agree. That was actually when um, Omega Scott was 152. Mm -hmm. That was like one of the only streams that I actually watched. <laughs> Ever. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, don't. I mean, that's everybody's not just you. Okay, I know, nice. I know. I've watched like a big run. <laughs> <laughs> you never came back. <laughs> <laughs> one time was enough. I was. I gave a good review on Yelp, but I'm over it. <laughs> I mean, that's all I can ask for. <laughs> Yelp reviews are reviews are immortal, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I just got the knight sword, and I went the wrong direction. Um, different. So so there's three different tiers. Or there's three tiers for each weapon. Um, the base weapon is just kind of whatever, but then. The sword and the claw. Uh, uh, nice. Dude. Yeah, sick. Nice riddle. Thank you. <laughs> For some reason, like whenever they're confused, there's a like they always like attacking themselves. <laughs> Very rarely the enemy. Yeah, that worked out surprisingly well. Um, oh yeah, so. The, ne the second and third level of Claw and Sword both have stat increases. The s Sword uh, boosts speed or agility, mm -hmm. and uh, Claw boosts magic. So there will be times when you when you see us have, um, like most of the time, once once we get the upgraded Claw, we're gonna have that out a lot of the time when we're tr when we're gonna use magic. Um, if you don't need the magic boost to actually kill the guys, I always have the Sword out just because it's a little more speed to try to prevent surprise attacks and possibly get strike firsts. Um, all right, so this is Stone Golem. He's a huge uh, D-bag. He's ice cold. Yeah. I guess I'll lose a fire. He's, still he's a huge D-bag. <laughs> um, this is one. This is the first boss where he can. He has a chance to go before Phoebe. And, like him. It really matters. I, I think Flamers can go before. See, like, he just went first. Um, I think Flamers can go before Tristan, but it's not really huge, as big a deal. Um, but a lot of times, like, you'll get him down to his last sprite, and you're like, oh, he's almost dead. Um, let's just finish him. Or, like, like Phoebe's almost dead if you'd attacked her. She would have died. And it's th th Those are the times when he chooses to go first and just kill you. And just restart the, the battle. <laughs> He's kind of the first boss too that actually has a, a decent amount of HP. So he has the, a, he has the, a lot. the battle is longer than ones that you've seen previously. So that risk of just getting dicked by RNG is pretty strong. Um, looks like oh, they're doing okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, so you notice is... there when he does that attack, he actually regains some HP as well. Which it's like 200, so it's not a huge deal. But if you get trapped in having to heal and getting dipped over, then like I need him to die this turn of the next, or I'm gonna die. All right. <laughs> <laughs> like I started defending, so so I could have healed with Phoebe there, but I just started defending with Benjamin anyway because Phoebe does a lot more damage, and that way I could ensure that she would survive. And he really cares about all my dick anyway. And you can see just from uh, Feral getting riddled and losing a couple turns and that kind of thing that Vic has closed the gap. It's not completely tied up, but he's inching ever closer.
This is actually when you're making your, um, because like I said, we, or like we, like we mentioned, you need a save file at the end of the game to do this. Uh, that boss is probably the worst part of making that save file. Because the resistance glitch makes, um, gives Phoebe, I think, resistance ice, whereas normally she wouldn't. So the, the ice block that he does, um, and possibly the, the water attack, I don't really remember. Substantially more damage. Yeah, it does a lot sure. more, so you're just gonna get wrecked on your, <laughs> like when you're going through this in the beginning. It's terrible. Aside from being lazy, uh, that's one of the main reasons that I haven't picked this game up to race or play, is just because I I think about it and then just dread doing that new game file, and then just yeah. like, alright, I'll, I'll just be mediocre at some other game in the meantime. <laughs> so there are a whole bunch of battlefields littered across. We skipped them all, except for this one. This one's really good. Um, well, that's not good. <laughs> uh, Sick, dude. So the way battlefields work is you have to basically win ten battles, and it will give you some sort of uh, prize. Nice. Uh, <laughs> I'm still on the fence. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Don't stop, man. <laughs> <laughs> so it can be like XP, gold, um, items, spells. So what this one gives you is exit. Which is really good. It lets obviously lets you exit um, dungeons, but it also you can use it as an offensive spell. And when you cast it on enemies, it just exits them from the battle, um, which is very fast. As intended, I'm sure. Yeah, of course. <laughs> um, but since they're not in the battle anymore, you didn't kill them. You don't actually get any XP or gold from them. So that's some slight consideration. It doesn't really matter so much, but because it's definitely worth it to be able to remove a guy from the battle. Um, so, so there are two possible packs here. You want squids, single squids. The other pack is the one I got in the very beginning and got here, which is a squid and a sphinx. Um, most of the time you get this, you're going to get surprise attacks. So you just have to run away. Um, well, you, you have to run away because you can't kill them one turn. Like, single squids you can just bomb. Whatever. These guys, you, you need two turns. And you don't want to deal with that, so you just run away. So you can lose a lot of time just based on how many of these battles you get. Um, like it's not uncommon to lose at least 30 or 40 seconds on your goal. Because your, your goal probably has a perfect battlefield. And then you're probably just going to get dicked. <laughs> uh, there, there is a chance that you don't get surprise attacked by these guys. And there's a chance that somehow on an open battlefield you get surprised by a lonely squid. Um, but that's just, you know, just the RNG about the game. I think I've gotten surprised by... Well, no, I haven't, but they keep going first. Yeah, so usually you go first, but then sometimes they decide to waste your time with Electro Pulse. One more to go. There it is. That's it. That's not awful. I had three, which isn't, isn't that bad. Um, sometimes you'll get, I think Janya has a highlight of him getting like 12 <laughs> bad battles in a row or something. <laughs> it was pretty incredible. And then Dan Show has actually died here. <laughs> Dan Show has died to that battlefield. Uh, so awesome. I think it's still on his PB as well. <laughs> but it's okay. Me missing, messing up the pillars is on my PB, so... <laughs> So there's that. You get a lot of funny, because we, we basically only play this game when we race, so you get a lot of funny PBs. Um, so there's those. Like a good Flamers Rex time is 10 minutes, uh, sub 10. My PB had a 13.30, which is atrocious. Like I, I don't even know how it was that bad. <laughs> but yeah, you get, you get some pretty ridiculous stuff in PBs when you only do races in this game. Alright, so coming up is the Fireberg section. Um, it's got some pretty cool music. You, you don't hear it now, and you're not going to hear it. Once Big gets there, you're not going to hear it very long. 
Um, this is where we do the main glitch, which is the item underflow. So what we're going to do is I'm going to buy... I have my item set up in a specific order. I'm going to buy zero seeds, because why not? It actually gives you zero seeds, and we're going to use them. <laughs> so that underflowed the uh, seed count, and it's... It, it works really weirdly in this game, but basically I think it, um, it, it looks at, or it, it, it decrements, because there's zero seeds, I think it decrements the item to the left, or to where the, the left of the, the left of where the item should be. Um, seeds are usually to the far right. So, or no, is it to the right? Yeah, it's, it's a really weird glitch. <laughs> <coughs> Hopefully there's someone who actually Good understands. Commentary. <laughs> But basically, it gives you unlimited seeds. It also gives you this fire coin, which um, is what you usually get when you beat the boss of the level, um, or a boss of the section. So we just completely skip the fireberg section um, and go on to the next section. And it also gives us unlimited seeds, which is pretty sweet. And it also has some other side effects later on. Um, like, it gives you a bunch of items, most of which are useless. Some, like, there's a crest that is actually useful. But yeah, this is when we first start using Exit in battle. Uh, it can miss, so this that mummy fight is infamous for for just being an infinite. Um, he can stone you, which is not instant game over. Um, he can put you to sleep, and then you just sit there waiting to wake up, and then he just puts you to sleep again. So it doesn't even matter. Or oh, actually, can one. miss. So <laughs> it's for how simple the fight is, it can go pretty wrong. I don't know why his overworld sprite looks like Macho Man Ring Savage, but it does. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we get Tristan back, he's just as useless as he was before. Um, but we really don't have him for very long. Thank god. He's awful. I'll heal, sure. <laughs> oh, sick. Really nice specters, dude. The guy luck. <laughs> the <laughs> Oh man, this game sometimes. <clears throat> so obviously you want two enemy encounters here. <laughs> We'll come back through it again, oh, and you'll, uh, <laughs> you'll again want two enemy counters. I'm dead. Yeah, mummies are really, really annoying. You don't want to deal with them as mm. uh, you want to deal with them as little as possible. Yeah, that's all we have for some more. It's gonna be piecing out. It's pretty fucking weird. It's just so <laughs> awful. Like, uh, <laughs> the top of it, it just looks like they stuck grass like above it on the tile set. It's just so shitty. <laughs> oh, god. oh my god, please stop. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you get power choked, you can't one shot anymore. Yeah, that's fine, but. <laughs> oh, what am I doing now? Oh, the crit. That's fine. <laughs> Watch it multiply, though. <laughs> All right. All right. We, 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 did we did it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the common theme coming up later in the game is, oh no, why? <laughs> <laughs> and now he won't. <laughs> Don't worry, dude. <clears throat> Pharaoh's gonna get floor two and he'll make it up. Oh, now you crit. Thank you. 
old Captain Mac. That's Spencer. Spencer, the uh, TV's grandfather? Yeah. Question mark? <laughs> <laughs> Some, claw, some relation? Yeah, so this is actually the third iteration of the claw. We skipped the second one. So this gives you, I think, plus 15 magic? I think plus it's plus 5. five. Yeah. Uh, the, the second one is plus 5, and the third one is plus 15, I thought. Right. But I, I don't know. <laughs> All I know is it gives you some bonus, and it helps. So whatever. It also has the cool um, hookshot mechanic. So we'll... Use that in the next dungeon. It's also really cool when you do it on accident. Oh yeah. Because you, you have to mash A. You mash a lot in this game. Um, I mash A and B. So a lot of times when, you're, when you don't re really realize that the text box is going to end, you just keep mashing. And you, don't, you end up jumping or laying a bomb or slashing your sword. Or using your claw. That happens a lot. <laughs> But in the end, it's all RNG manipulation anyway, so it usually works out. Can't wait for your floor six manipulation live, hundred percent success rate, man. Happens at, yeah, it works every Easy time. Easy every time. Easy. That it's, bomb it's, that he plays. It's very simple Rex too. Just for that. It's, it's the simplest of manipulation, and yeah, it works every time. So now we have Kaylee again. Kaylee is actually pretty useful. Um, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have her for a, a pretty substantial portion. First, we want to come get this arrow spell. Walk to the wall first, sure. Nice shadow. Chimera. It's a chimera. Or we're gonna find another one of those as a boss later, and it's gonna wreck our shit, probably. <laughs> Dude, the, I think the graphics in this oh. game are awesome, personally. I'm sure some people think they suck, but I always have liked them. I definitely think the work they did on the monster sprites is pretty unparalleled. Yeah. Had to do something with all the memory, right? It's not like there's gameplay or story to put in, so. Just put some sick monsters in. Oh, sure. what am I doing? I don't, have to, funny, I don't have to walk anymore. Because when I started collecting games again, like 10 years ago or something, I was, like, always thought about this game and couldn't, couldn't remember the name of it. <laughs> and I always remembered the pillar puzzle, and so I'd, like, tell people about, like, dude, I'm pretty sure it's a Final Fantasy, and you, like, there's push these pillars, pillars in this ice place, and people are like, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? And then when I remembered it, I was like, dude, what is this story about in that game? And I played through it again, and I was just like, this is... Dude, what is the story about? <laughs> <laughs> now I remember why I just remember the pillar puzzle, and that's the only thing from my childhood that I remembered, you know what I mean? Everyone's favorite split, the trium split. I'm gonna slash my sword twice because. Nice dude. Because crap. Oh, I got him to have it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And floor six minute. That's actually tree manipulate. Oh, he's dead. Oh, yo, I'm dead. <laughs> that battle is usually pretty. <laughs> Three mummies pretty is pretty awful. Free. This this one, yeah. I mean, the, like I, like we said, like they can stone you, which, uh? dude. Okay. Oh yeah, because I got crit last time. That's why he died. All right. Yeah, my full my floor six manipulation is uh, right before we talk to him. Oops. So, the tree is prob. Whatever. <laughs> Thanks, Kaylee. Um, the tree is probably like one of the worst dungeons. It's really long. A lot of the monster packs are just really annoying. Um, what the? Alright. 
Nice. Sure. Your deep head? <laughs> I guess I'll attack him from the top. Oh. Um, she's gonna arrow again, isn't she? No, okay, she won the axe that time. Like, sometimes it... Like, you'd, you'd think... You'd think it would be set. Like, it was the same situation both times. Um, it was not. <laughs> well, there are also enemies later on, which we've seen all... Have you seen? Have... I don't remember if you've seen the oozes yet. No. No. Alright, yeah. So there are oozes here later, where they reflect magic. Um, and if you leave Kaylee and Otto, usually she attacks. Sometimes she's she decides to arrow them, and just reflect an arrow into your face. Um, which is always... Really, really fun. Uh, nice hookshot optimization there. That was impressive. Yeah, saves some amount of frames. <laughs> I think it's 17 if I remember correctly. <laughs> That's so perfect. <laughs> what the hell, dude? <laughs> I didn't want to move up. <laughs> oh boy. Yo, ah, dude. see? <laughs> It was started off so well. These zombies are really giving it to us. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I'm a wreck. Everything's going, going so wrong. So for these battles, you want two worms. Um, there's a lot of worms. You always want two. Uh, if you have two, you can kill them in one turn. If you, there are three, you need two arrows. And a lot of times, Benjamin will die. Um, they all get attacked, so it wastes a huge amount of time. Supposedly, it's a 75% chance to get two worms in this room. But what? Anecdotally, <laughs> it's about, like, 5%. <laughs> like, you always get... 75%? That's what I've heard from the man himself. Oh my god, what a lie. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Legend. So you'll notice that uh, characters revive in between battles as well, so oh, God. they just come back at 1 HP. Yeah. Which, so a lot of times, uh, Feral will leave on my dick at 1 HP. Just because it, it's not worth healing him, because he's probably going to die. I am going to heal this, though, because, well, both of my guys are almost dead. And you'll notice I always heal with my companion. Um, it's slower. Yo, three out of four uh, attacks were, or battles were three worms. Um, it's slower, but every every MQ runner has undoubtedly <clears throat> because the you know so the first spell is exit, the second spell is cure. Um, everyone has at one point in time accidentally exited Exit out of the dungeon, dungeon instead of curing. And all the enemies respawn if you do that, so... Yeah. Mm. You have to fight every pack of enemies again on the way back through, so it's a pretty big time loss. Yeah, and... That was traumatic enough for me that I <laughs> don't heal with Benjamin anymore. Time loss. I'll, I'll, I'll eat the time loss. <laughs> so... In this room... Worms can be accompanied by slimes, which you don't want. I was really hoping that you had a slime in that battle. <laughs> <laughs> it would be good. Because <laughs> um, like we said, slimes uh, reflect magic, so in order to kill them, there's a couple things you can do. They're weak to bombs, you can do that, or um, the dragon claw, which is the, the claw that we got. It can paralyze, or not paralyze. It can um, petrify enemies if they're if they're weak against it. And slimes are, so I always uh, just attack the slime in, in an attempt to petrify it. But ideally, you don't get them. Ideally, again, you get two worms, which I've gotten once. <laughs> once. <laughs> Base over there, just two worms for one. Yeah. See in the frames, man. <laughs> I need to catch up, dude. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> it saves a lot of time. <laughs> like this, this dungeon especially, the enemy packs you get um, have a huge impact on, on your time. Oh my god. They do exist. Stolen from him, man. 
Dude. What? Yo, man. <laughs> it's not meant to be. That's obviously, obviously much quicker. <laughs> yeah, it's so much faster. Like, he exciting. finished those two battles in the time that they finished one. <laughs> so. Ah! Uh, here's the slime. I'm gonna heal because toads are really bad as well. These guys can easily get you in the middle, also. Uh, yeah, but they can stone you. Oh, the bloated band aid. Yeah, it's such a fucking weird. Ridiculous. Such a weird sprite. Alright, that was actually a really good fight. We're gonna fight another set of war uh, toads, though. They did a lot of interesting things with kind of overlaying parts of levels in this game where you walk underneath mm. stuff that you think is on the same plane as you so Benjamin will disappear behind it on the map or like when you go down instead of going underneath stuff that you should he just spins and then the next screen gets I loaded see. but it's like a interesting take on just walking through what looks like a doorway but then you actually walk through it and end up on the other side. So some of it is when you first play through it casually, you wouldn't even think that you could walk through some stuff. But for only $14.99, El Magus will give you hourly lessons in this game. So <laughs> if you like, uh, comment, and subscribe on his channel, then you too can sub two hour. He's running a special right now, seven ninety nine an hour for DeuceCon only. That's what I'm saying. You did, you did. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. To the well, you mummies. took the mummies. To the mummies. So these are the slimes. Where Kaylee can decide to arrow them. And this is actually a very good situation. Um, if Kaylee crits, or because again the resistance glitch, your companion is actually immune to drain, and it gets reversed. She gains life, and the enemy loses life. So. Uh, if you attack a slime, it puts him at low enough that if he if it tries to drain Kaylee, it'll die. Um, so there are a couple situations where you can get one turn battles in those. Usually you won't though. It's just a nice it's just nice when it happens. It's pretty nice they have quick swapping of weapons too. Yeah. It would suck if you had to go to the menu and Oh god, that'd be so what, bad. What's not nice is the fact that you have to chop down like 50 <laughs> yeah. fucking mushrooms. Like, Dude, to be good, fair, good level when, when I was like 10, that was fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> <So. laughs> Alright, can you respect that? I have to agree, actually. <laughs> Squished ooze sprite. Yeah. Ow. Oh. Oh. Let's attack. Okay, don't change. That's fine. If you guys have a chance, you should, or you're interested in this game, you should definitely check out like the some of the official artwork for it too. And there's a lot of fan art for this game that's actually really good. Uh, I don't really know why, but uh, <laughs> there is some like really cool stuff that's been done artwork-wise in this game. Character names like on my dick. Who wouldn't be a fan of this game? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
kudos to Japan for being so outside the box, naming the character something like that. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I, the translation team had a lot of fun. <laughs> I like the uh, direction, like the Japanese artwork point, like the box art too. Like they made it super senpai friendly. <laughs> I haven't seen it. Not intrigued. You know, like the American version has this like dragoon-looking dude on it. Yeah. Anyways. So Benjamin's like. Right. Super cartoony or whatever, uh, you know, like they just made everything <laughs> super anime. <laughs> Instead, and then the American one, everything's like badass and realistic <laughs> for whatever reason. But, yeah. Nice. Like how I prioritize looking at that over playing my own game. <laughs> like, man, it does look cool. <laughs> Hey. Hey. I'm a bit getting brave over there, heal healing with Benjamin. Leaving life on the edge. There's no way it could happen to me three times. <sighs> So it's, it's fine. Like it's all good, dude. That was how our last our last race ended. It, the last time we raced this was me, Bick, and Dan. Uh, that ended with with Dan accidentally exiting out of Zuzu's tower, like towards the end too. Yeah, so, good. so he just stopped at that point. <laughs> classic Dan. Oh my god, <laughs> it was classic Dan. I agree. She was on attack. <laughs> This is gonna go a lot worse than it should. <laughs> well, let's get my spell set up. Uh, oh, nice. That is really weird. <laughs> You've been getting that. Lucky yeah, I've been getting lot, uh, like really lucky confusion. Well, so, gotta heal here. This fight's actually really can be very bad. Soldiers. Because, like you saw before, they can confuse you. You have three chances to do so. <laughs> Alright, we're fine. Yo, dude. For some reason, they, they always attack your, uh, or target your companion first. So, like, if, if there's only one guy left, he's gonna try to confuse Kaylee. I don't actually know why. I guess it's, I guess it's in their AI I was to just do assumed that. it was like level based because you oh, know, maybe. your companion's always a higher level than you are. Yeah, that might be it. That makes sense. That yeah. goat head is so good, dude. <laughs> I love yeah, that thing so much. Good. It's just like the derpiest <laughs> satanic <laughs> goat ever. Real <laughs> <laughs> <Hail>, Satan! <laughs> exactly like that. <laughs> It's funny because looking at it, I don't actually think that's its mouth, but it definitely looks like it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, it's like the yeah, beard of its neck or whatever. It's not <laughs> actually its mouth, but that's it's super, that's like super turkey. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you can't unsee that. But... Uh, so this, this guy is a total asshole as well. Nice. Alright. Dude. <laughs> let's, let's, yes! do, let's, do, let's do it again. <laughs> uh, oh I wouldn't mind if you did it again. Mm. See, so yeah, Gidra, um, his main issue is that he can stone you. Um, oh, <laughs> Sick, dude. So the issue with that is if, like you saw, if he stones um, Kaylee, he's going to go before Benjamin. So yeah, so you basically have to hope that he... Um, does something that somehow doesn't kill Benjamin, which a lot of times he'll just stone him also, just because he's an asshole. Or really, or you can just attack and just straight up kill him like he did for me. Um, but yeah, the the the, the back to back stone grass is basically fa fairly fairly typical Kidra.
Yes! <laughs> the back to back stone press. This is it. As, this is my chance. As advertised. This is my and chance. See, there you go. Now Bic and I are. Uh... <laughs> it's as easy as that. Easy as pie. Oh, he's got a timely auto. Oh yeah, and um, co companions that are on auto, oh, they'll actually decide what the oh, damn, so oh baby, <laughs> they'll actually decide what they're gonna do. Um, oh, I think I think you survived that. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> yeah. Can't buy a bucket, man. So that's why, like, so I'm a level higher than Bic. There are certain bosses where you. Like certain, certain, like one more level will help. Like I would have survived that mm. at full health. He didn't. Um, it matters more in the early game. It doesn't matter as much in late game. But, <laughs> but yeah, so companions will actually decide what they're gonna do when it's their turn. So you'll have times when like you have her, you have him on auto, and then um, like Benjamin dies, and then they'll just then they'll decide to life him. But obviously they wouldn't. What they wouldn't have done that at the beginning of the turn. It always. I always thought it was weird that he can use the attack called three heads when he only has, only has one head left. <laughs> like that's just confusing to me. Dude, that might go away. Oh, nice, dude. That was. <laughs> Oops. Winner. There you go, dude. <laughs> Double hookshot minute. Yeah, should that that will probably mess up my season manipulation actually. That tree. Yeah, dude, that tree dick is a good blocking <laughs> platform. Yeah. <laughs> Don't the trees in the exactly. background say something there? Yeah, so you can see it on Bix. They, they say good yeah. they say good kid. Yeah, good yeah. kid. Fuck dude. Poor salt on my tree dick, man. <laughs> Goon kid, me. Well, no <laughs> what are they trying to say? It's neck and neck. I like it. Oops. Yeah, that fight definitely evened things up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> and that's Mystic Quest for you. And it easily could have been Vic pulling ahead by 20 or 30 seconds had he gotten good luck that first round that he had. Yeah, if I wouldn't have died, we'd be a lot closer. So more mushrooms because fuck you. That's why. Fuck yeah, mushrooms. Good meal. <laughs> All right. So usually you can see in this part <laughs> the uh, sequence break we did in Firebird. Um, we basically skipped over the trigger where the game's like, okay, let's remove this these clouds. So we get to navigate with clouds <laughs> in the way. Luckily it's not it's, yeah, it's pretty a non-linear walkabout, so Is game keep it locked? Brutal if you decide no. to wander around. That's intentional. Just one extra step for Pazuzu. Exactly. I'm in fire. Another item, though. <laughs> you exit out. I exited out too early. <laughs> oh baby. <laughs> oh baby. <laughs> oh baby. It's my fucking time to shine, bitch. <laughs> nice, dude. So that's one of the downfalls of the exit spell is. <laughs> Oh man, I've never actually done that. I've, I've known people to do that. <laughs> oh, am amazing! Oh, I've definitely done that. <laughs> All right, I just wanted to give Bic a you know a little bit of a lead. Oh, you want to give me a fighting chance? Yeah, I appreciate it. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> we're back. I'm in the lead. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> it feels good. <laughs> After the weekend you had. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, I'm supposed to exit, but we'll walk out. Sure. <laughs> Just. <laughs> 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 Dude, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Like, where is she going? Oh my god, dude, we quit bicking it up, dude. What are you doing? We're all falling apart. <laughs> Can't handle the pressure. Game of Throws, man. So you'll see the the spell that they went out of their way, their way to go and grab. Uh, Benjamin's gonna be using. Vampires are like the worst spells ever. They're so bad. I don't know how you get a vampire out of that. But it just looks like this scream dude. Yeah, I definitely spent their development budget on the music. <laughs> yeah, they like the reskin sprites in here too. Yeah. It's like slight color changes. So, I mean, it, whatever it works, but throw a different name and a different color and you got yourself a budget. So we're coming up to one of my favorite bosses, flavor wise. One of his attacks is probably the coolest thing ever. And hopefully it'll happen to one of us so we can shout it. Mm. Not really shout it when it happens to me. He does. I'll be like trying to talk to my chat and just hear Hadoomering all day. <laughs> Alright, Farrell. It's cool, man. Oh, I have another. Do it. I can't count the four. Apparently. Good luck, sir. Thank you. The land's Go kind ahead. of a dick, too. Yeah. Mm. This can be a really crappy this fight. One of Dan Cho's favorites. Like oh, our, yeah. Like our horse is on our face. This horse is also a <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this mm. is the first battle, I think, where the boss can just one shot you. I mean, not, not I mean, other than Stone Breath, but um, this is the Ooh. introduction of Doom Dance, which has a chance to deal your entire life damage. Big using the uh, Let me try a little glitch on awesome him. heal. Yeah, if you use heal on him, there's a chance he gets paralyzed and poisoned and a number of other things. Yeah, and you can just kind of awesome. pummel him to death, and he doesn't <laughs> do anything. So I'm getting pretty lucky with it so far, except for there. The problem with um, heal is that it doesn't actually tell you Hadoom Ring. <laughs> doesn't actually tell you Hadoom Ring. <laughs> it doesn't actually tell you like what he got. So like it missed, but what missed, you know? And like you don't know if he got paralyzed until, until he hey yo Hadoom Ring again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like you don't really know, but it it can be a pretty it can be pretty epic. Like I've had a battle where it was turn one, turn two I heal I healed him and he was paralyzed the entire fight. Like, he only got one action. <laughs> uh, no, you're out. We're gonna heal. And the sprite, dude, the animation is awesome. You, you Why did I you use arrow on, on him? What the hell? Uh, did I do that? Oh, I didn't see him. Oh, because he got put to sleep. That's why I didn't quite notice that in time. Like, he throws his fucking head at you. And it, come, it comes back at him. Like, it's, it's I love so that great. horse. Dude, just like... Falls over. <laughs> this guy is... If you couldn't tell, dude, you know, his sprite is holding his head. Yeah. 
that if you were wondering what the hell it was, <laughs> what it's supposed to be. Yep. You oh, guys know. Do you this guy is a doomerang in all day long. Yeah, some flubs on my part. Fucking tied up. Well, we're both pretty close. I don't even go in. Yeah, here we go. Good job. Yo, yo like one nice. one second apart yeah, or something? Yeah, very close. Yeah. Alright, next dungeon. The best dungeon in the game. <laughs> Without a doubt. <laughs> this is where I need El Magus' handy dandy guide. <laughs> I don't actually know how to play this game. But yeah, Pazuzu's tower is a seven-floor tower. Um, seven floor I'll, I'll stab Otto with my claw because why not? You deserved it. You did. So basically, how this tower works <laughs> is Pazuzu is the boss. It's his tower. Um, each floor has an elevator um, or a shaft, basically. Mm. Shaft on my dick. Shaft exactly. <laughs> um, so how it works is, in the very beginning, he is on every floor. Oh, that's a sword. I see. <laughs> He's on every floor, and when you talk to him on any floor, he will basically, at that time, it's... We can't manipulate it. I mean, well, I, I mean, I manipulate he it, can, but yeah. most, people, <laughs> most people can't manipulate it. Um... Uh, so how it works is when you talk to him, he chooses a random floor that you didn't talk to him on to go to. Um, so we always talk to him on floor three, just because it's the easiest way. It's, it's the fastest one to get to. Um, so when we talk to him on floor three, he then decides floors one, two, four, five, or six to be on. He can't be on floor seven, that's where you go um, after you kill him. So it's one, two, uh, four, five, or six. Six is the best. Mm. You want floor six. Um, floor two is the worst. It's so bad that floor two is, I think, ten or eleven minutes slower than floor six. <laughs> Just because you have to, because floor six is right there. Um, floor two, you have to fight a lot more battles. Um, just do a lot more shit to get to them. So basically, in a race, as close as they are, this is the deciding factor. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Unless we get the same floor, and right. then actually how the, bo <laughs> the battle goes will will matter. Because that that battle can go yeah. pretty go bad. A really long time, and then you can still die after a long time. Yeah. So here he is, floor three. Oh, two sword swings, and then the next one. Yep. <laughs> For good I messed it up, dude. It's <laughs> over, man. It's over, dude. Oh, he's dead. Uh, it should be cool. good, because okay, since you're floor you three, you do the two to manipulate him. And then you add an extra one and you move to floor six. Uh, so. Yeah, I need my sword. So my manip is slash one, it's pretty tough It's kind of dumb, because now I have to switch back to bombs. <laughs> but, whatever. You gotta go for it, Yeah, it's, it's totally worth it. Guaranteed floor six is definitely worth uh, swapping a couple of weapons. It was literally like when Magus was trying to get this run more optimized, this was what held him out for how long? Like months. <laughs> <laughs> like we'd have super amazing runs going and then just get floored to you. Yeah. Oh crap. GG. So yeah, these manticores are really nasty. Um, <laughs> oh, it almost happens. <laughs> this is pretty early. He would have only had to fight like five extra battles. <laughs> yeah. well, this is a really long tower. If you do it like on floor six, then you're basically fucked. You have to do like 15 battles or some shit. It's so stupid. Um. So yeah, this is this is this tower is why it's a lot better um, to have life bugged because the Manticore fight in the J version is really really bad. Um, there's this hallway. It's like there are these hallways or there's stairways um, where you have to fight three of the same type of enemy, and one of them is 
three manticores, and <coughs> even with glitched life, um, you can die pretty easily. The hellway. The hellway, as we call it. Yeah. We Super Metroid now, naming rooms. <laughs> Dude, we should do that. Like name every room in Mystic. <laughs> So Bic is coming up to that hallway after this fight. Like Garuda, dude. Garuda is like in uh, Final Fantasy III as well. He's a boss in there. So they, they have some Final Fantasy staples in this game. Gruda, but Groot is also a bird in, in that game. Where he's a dick. Nice. Yep. Del knows him. Here we go. GL. Kaylee shot. So we're gonna exit. He's gonna exit with Benjamin and Life with Kaylee. Um, they can all use Stone Breath. Stone Gaze. Um, Die. Nope. They can do shit like that. Fireball is Canadian. Really, <laughs> Fireball is Canadian. Yes. Um, it's a very the entire game. It's a very devastating element. Your companion is not weak or is not strong against it, um, and neither are you. So in general, it does a lot of damage. If it crits, I think it can one shot Kaylee. It's kind of ridiculous actually. Hey, fireball! <laughs> oh, only three fifty seven. So yeah, we're just hoping for yeah, life and exit can miss too. By the way, so we want them to not miss and we want to not get over for some reason. That's kind of the caveat to speedrunning this game is once you get here, hey, stone. even if your execution is on point and you have everything set up properly, like the game can just screw you over. So it gets pretty frustrating. And on top of that, if you wanted to compete for a top time, the current top time is really ridiculous. Really ridiculous. <laughs> like amazing execution and amazing luck and just like It's um I forget what FF Gamer's time is. I think it's so a 156. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's, it's, so it's six minutes yeah. slower than Magus's record, and it's the second time. Yeah, it's and it's FF ridiculous how fast it is. For a very long time. <laughs> Fireball. Oh. All right, hallway. I think we both had. It's fairly, okay. fairly decent for yeah. points, at least. You didn't die. Yeah. <laughs> that is all that matters. That's the, in uh, <laughs> Magus' run, too, I don't think he died in a single battle, which is very, actually very pretty, difficult to pretty do. rare and very tough, yeah. Man, it's that boss. Yeah. It's Thanatos, dude. He's just yeah. taking a break from bringing the Man Fortress back. Yeah, so a lot of times when you fight a boss, you'll see them in the next dungeon. Mm. So that's happening here. Oh there. my god! Thanks, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Man, dude. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Uh, man. Oh, because he's <laughs> <'cause laughs> blind? Yeah. Uh, blind, blind effects. That's, what, that's why it happened the second and third time, and not the first time. Shay. I didn't even know that was a possible monster pack. Same. It's <laughs> the best thing that happened to me. Oh, wow. <laughs> that, that is way better. <laughs> uh, ah, do puts you in the lead though. Let me do this. Yeah, and, uh, and again, it, 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 it may or comes may not be <laughs> like really <laughs> soon. It could be just like, oh, you're ten minutes ahead. Here we're just waiting for like the guy to be on six four. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and then we find out what happens. Most of them, like if um, 
most of them are fairly close. Like six, six and two is the extreme example, yeah. but like um, five and four are very close. Because five, you only have to fight one extra battle. Or four, sorry, four, you fight one one extra battle two. and walk. Was it two? Yeah. Oh, but yeah, I mean, um, it's not a lot. It's not too crazy. Yeah, what am I doing? Yeah, there's any option in between there. It's not like two and six are the only floors that you can stick on. Those are just kind of the notable ones for floor two just being a staple in runs. Yeah. In fact, that is one of, one of Magus's emotes is Magus floor two. Just uh, as a general. Lots of times side being face ahead on his splits, <laughs> having a really good face, and then just getting completely dicks. I just really hope you guys are both good for it too. <laughs> that then would it'll, be. Then it'll just be down to like who actually knows the game. <laughs> who actually knows how to get the floor too? Not me. <laughs> Possibly neither of us. No fucking menu at all. Same. <laughs> Floor two, on, depending on who it is, but yeah. if you're, it depends because we usually also mm. always race, so it's not really we don't really want to like dip. I'd but say, when it's like floor two, two usually we dip because <laughs> it's just too fucking long. If you're doing PB attempt, yeah, yeah. probably yeah. Yeah. a lot of people just like fuck this. And the, the community for this Drop game right now mm. is more racing than. Yeah, people actually good. grinding PB attempts aside from Magus is basically mm. retired, but he does races still. But him and FF Gamer were the only people actually like grinding PBs for a while and trying to mm. get better times. Everyone else just race. Yeah, it's, it's a really unforgiving race. And then like the the best part about racing this game is being in Skype calls oh, and every, everyone just complaining about the shit that's happening to them. <laughs> All game <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck is this monster pack, dude? <laughs> so yeah, after we get... This chest has Flare, which is an incredibly powerful spell. Um, after that, we... discover our fates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're like three encounters away from finding out. <laughs> Sick, dude. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that usually doesn't hit. <laughs> but whatever, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. Well, it's kind of the nice thing about this game, too, is if you lose somebody and they get revived, curing really, the way the minis are set up, curing is pretty fast. So now that we have Flare, um, we really do not want Beholders, or the, you know, I-dudes. Um, because Flare, uh, you, you can want, you can kill every encounter in one turn, unless it has a Beholder. <laughs> there you go. Because they, they reflect magic, so you don't want to cast it on them. But, like, if it's if it's three enemies, you can kill one with Kaylee, and then Benjamin will take out the other two. So here's... Like, like he's Big anything. just got the good luck here, so he'll probably be able to catch it. So you can. Oh. Oh. Dude. Oh, <laughs> baby, you're each! <sighs> so yeah. <laughs> now we now we get to go on a merry adventure to find out where he is. Oh yes. Oh yeah. So the, the the other way this game wor this this works is um, if you talk to Pazuzu and there's a floor he can go to, he will go to that floor. Um, but the way the game works, so you saw us hit a switch. What that did was it closed off this floor. So this floor he can no longer come to this floor. So depending on um, depending on what floor he he is he's on, we basically have to keep like. Cutting off floor so we can't um, keep going. So we, so we can't move, basically. 
the floor five. Floor five. Um, so, you, so you'll see us do that. Uh, I have to hit at least... Two. No, well, two, we'll, we'll, including the one you just did. Yeah. Floor so five. Floor five either. for him either. <laughs> Shit balls. The, um, the, be the second best floor is floor, floor one. The only problem with that is you don't... So, like, we're going down, right? So we're, we're eliminating um, floors in descending order. So floor one is the second best, but to get there... Before you get there, you eliminate five and four. So at that point, it's either floor one, which is the second best, or floor two, which is the worst. <laughs> so, like, not having floor five is the third, is the third best is not terrible, and then floor... Four, it's like, well, it's either good or really <laughs> shitty. <laughs> and I keep getting these fucking beholders, so it doesn't help anything. It's a lot of baby rage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's tradition to uh, post baby rage when he's not floor six. Hog champs when you have floor six. So you'll see as, as they're going down the tower. Like you'll see Pazuzu's sprite, so they'll know if he's on yeah, so the floor, so up there. there at the top. Uh -oh. so like, no, okay, not so, four feet, so I'll either have floor one or floor two. Or... <laughs> Should not have left Kaylee on auto. I did it again. <laughs> so that's why it's so brutal. Like floor six is sick because he's right there, but. Yeah. So you have to like go through. Hey! It. So just, there you go, dude. The biggest floor four. Yeah, that's because uh, if he gets floor one, that will be faster. Yeah. yeah. If I get floor two, then I have to GG. try to remember how to do floor two, <laughs> which I think I do, but we'll find out. Uh. One thing that's actually just random. Um, so the sorcerer, sorcerers, like I don't know if you noticed, but their their sprite floats up and down um, when they're idling. Um, unless they're in combat with an enemy that's not floating. Um, so like, you see now they're, they're stationary. He just found that out, like, I two weeks ago. I literally just found that out <laughs> one. I, I, I forget, it was like, I think it was during a race, and someone yeah. mentioned it. I was like, what? <laughs> like, I never noticed that they're stationary in battles with, uh... Oh, he's asleep? I was looking at Dick. I think we were both like watching. <laughs> yeah, I was not paying attention. <laughs> I was just mashing. Like, why is this fight still going? <laughs> so for four, I hit the switch. Then I talked to him. Then I ran no. all the way around. Right? <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Do you get floor two? I got I have floor two. Oh shit. <laughs> um. I'm sorry, man. So I have to go. Back up and hit floor four. I yes, hit floor you have four. to hit floor four. And then. Nice work, dude. <laughs> you did it. There it is. What the hell is that spell? So you're supposed to hit floor four anyway. <laughs> um, I just forgot. Because normally you would do this, hit the switch, and then go down to floor one. And go that way. But we're gonna do this uh, slightly longer. Magus floor twos, man. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> I mean, it's the second it's worst. Not, I have the second worst versus. It's the worst. Not, <laughs> he's not like way ahead now, because still, even with. Because he's not really like a walkover boss. No. Yeah. Like, there's still. He could get hung up here. Just when when you are doing a oh, PB attempt and you get floor two, it's over. I mean, there's really. Oh, she healed. Oh, interesting. Um, so he's gonna move. Because there's still a possible floor for him to go to. He's gonna do that for me as well. <laughs> Still not a. Sick dude. <laughs> like, oh, he got dude. <laughs> Amazing. Oops. Uh, you know, let's get out of here. I don't like that. Take her off, Otto. This tower is really weird if you play through it blind. 
Yeah. yeah. Like, it's really, it's really, really tough to play like... through without a, any kind of guide. Alright, so here is the switch. There's enemies here, right? Yeah, we don't... Ah, I can't move! <laughs> <laughs> well, we're finding them. <laughs> this is not what we're supposed to do, by the way. <laughs> so let's see, how do we, how do we get up there? Um... You have to wrap back around the mm. stairs near the entrance, I think okay. a four, and then you go, you make that one turn down into two. There's like a right. one beholder encounter there. Oh, no. So yeah, now, now you discover that we weren't kidding when we say that people just recite when you play too. Done quick. It's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's a chore to remember <laughs> how you do this guy. Mm. We're uh, wrapping back around. Just take those stairs at the bottom, bottom ones. Mm. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just go downstairs. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think you can get a different fight here. Try one more time. I know for the switch you cannot, but I can't okay. find whatever. Um, so we're air full arrow. She's blind, so life is probably this. One exit, dude. That would be so awesome. <laughs> forget about Captain Mac. Yeah, you can forget, forget about Captain Mac, too. That's, it's funny without like playing through the game and understanding the story, like you see Spencer talk about Captain Mag and you see Pazuzu talk about Captain Mag and it's just like Who the fuck is this Captain Cool Mag? man. <laughs> Captain Mag. <laughs> what? Pazuzu's sprite is oh, like it's super rad, I think for it's yeah. huge, but yeah, the sprite work on him is really good. So this fight is dangerous because um, Pazuzu can go before Kaylee. Usually she goes first, but she's on the fight. <laughs> um, it's pretty hard to lose your concentration when you get floor two. <laughs> but yeah, so the way Pazuzu works is after the fifth turn. Um, is this gonna work? Probably not. Actually, it will not. Oh, it will. I'm intrigued. <laughs> After um, turn 5, he uses Psych Shield, which, uh, if you cast a spell on him while Psych, psych Shield is up, it gets reflected on you. So you cannot cast spells that next turn. And then the turn after, you usually don't cast on with Kaylee, if, in case she goes first. This is possibly. <laughs> nice mix. And then once he takes it off, it's every four turns. Yo, oh. that. Why did I do that? Dude, sick. Alright, that, so that could have gone a lot worse for him. Yeah, seeing as how he goes before Kayla, that could have been a... Yeah, like he could have just stayed there as well, and then it's GG, maybe. I want to say, during a race, Dancho got double stoned like three times in a row by Pazuzu, but... I, I believe it. <laughs> So this is his last phase. I, it's a pretty cool spray. Like he just like he's just like flexing. It's like the seductive flex. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> pretty epic. And I'm almost talking to him. <laughs> We're getting there. <laughs> Alright, 
He should be dead anyway. Yeah. Nice. He's easy down. A little drawn out, but otherwise it's good. This way. <laughs> so I finally get to talk to him. And this is the worst part about Floor 2. Is like, you, you get... You fight all these battles to get to the guy. <laughs> and then it could all go wrong. <laughs> and then he leaves anyway. Yep. He's a dick bag. This is the, it's uh, like, yes. I do the zero cure potion. We're there. Now. Oh, no? You okay. can't catch me. <laughs> cool. Cool story. Uh, get the zero yeah, yeah, potions, but I'll use it. And talk, and then use it. Yeah. Get you. Welcome to Mystic Quest. So now we go down. This is a cool thing. You can... <laughs> you can jump onto stairs. It doesn't matter if you can't actually jump across that gap. It'll let you, because you're going you'll end up on stairs. So, we walk over here and he has nowhere else to go because I closed off floor 4. So had Feral not gone back and done that, then... I need to forget about Captain Mac! He could have gone to floor Just 4 and taken five. off and would have had to chase him down. It's the last bit of glitching right there. Following the same exact kind of system as the earlier. Um, glitch, we're basically overflowing our inventory again for me to get the quest items. Why am I walking? Uh, that I want. <laughs> that is always the question of Mr. Quest. Why did I not exit? <laughs> so now I don't have to do this dungeon, we're just done. Yeah. And we didn't have to get the Thunder Rock either, which is just basically like a big walking chore. And you can actually, you can softlock the game in that part <laughs> if, uh, if, you, if you do the underflow too soon. Then Kaylee never leaves your party, and you can't talk to her later to trigger the plot, so you, it's a soft lock. <laughs> Oops, I always do that. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh, I should have put her on auto. That was stupid. Oh, yo, what? What did I miss? Oh, I have to talk to Otto first, don't I? Talk to Kaylee. Oh, that's right, you gotta, you gotta get the hat. Oh my god, <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have to, you have to oh, take, have to you have to take the, uh, yeah. I'm feraling it up! Yeah, dude, you feraled it. <laughs> so this is the part that you cannot do if there you, if you use the item too soon. Because you, Kaylee won't be there to talk to. There we go. She went first. Yeah, there's just that dude just walking up on the roof all the time. <laughs> Here we go. Play cap, dude. That's all you need. Just, need that just needed that cap, and then the <laughs> the ship somehow comes down towards you. Go. <laughs> must be the cap. Nice fight, dude. That's what I do. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. No, I don't like, really want that. Oh crap. <laughs> Yeah, this is the annoying part with Captain Max ship, is it's pretty free. You just need the counter packs you want, and then you can just get stuck forever. Because <laughs> it's not guaranteed right away. Ruben's a pretty cool character too, right? I liked him. Everyone else hates him for some reason. Yeah, I don't know why. I like him. Better. Yeah, I thought he was pretty cool. I almost said he was my least favorite, then I remembered Tristan existed. <laughs> That guy sucks. I see. All right, I see. <laughs> yep, back begins. The comeback begins, man. Yeah, so even after, like, it's still not over. Um, like, there, there are some super trolley bosses that we can still just get wrecked by, or we, right, we can just get stuck in the infinite. <laughs> Here's a relative of Pazuzu we'll be meeting later. Even worse. Mm. Ruben, enjoy. Uh, 
imagine if he like teleported all over the world and like walked. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! You'll never find me. <laughs> <laughs> god, I've traveled all the previous dungeons to see where he went. That would be the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I would never play this game. Uh, what am I doing? You say that, dude. But... He did it. He did it, y'all. Why are you still level 19 after floor 4? It's <laughs> <laughs> a good question. That's really weird. New strats, man. Uber low level. <laughs> Nothing can go wrong. I would like to gain a level soon. We should. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so how grinding the team works? Oh, please get them. Oh. Pretty much. That's how everything works in this game. You say please and see what happens. Most of the time it's just fuck you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very common response. Mm. Yo, I couldn't run away either. Alright. You can usually run away, like I'm higher level and I have a sword, which gives you... <laughs> Alright, I'll do it one more time and then fight it. The Captain Mac himself. Yep. The Captain Mac. Oh, maybe. You got his cap for him? Man, the myth, the legends. Like, the dude, the sprite work on that part, I think it's really good, because he actually, like... I don't know, you'll see it on Feral screen again, but when Ruby falls over, he, like, reaches over and moves his arm and spins him, and, like, I always remember as a kid, like, Benjamin shrugging and moving his arms and oh, stuff. Oh, dude, the shrug, like, the shrug is epic. It's super good. And it's the best animation. Some of the effort they put into the sprite work on this game is just like, why didn't you put more effort into the game? <laughs> Head your brain. We had a floor two. We had a floor, floor two. two. Floor we had the two worst <laughs> floors you can get. We <laughs> <laughs> like parked outside when that happened or something. Probably. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> probably pulling out. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm what are you doing? Not sure. Pouring salt. <laughs> Pouring salt. I'm fairly certain that that's Ness on top of that roof. Close the point of the hat. <laughs> when you do play this game casually for the first time, you'll be going back and forth a lot. Yeah. yeah. Because it's not really, really intuitive where, like, these guys are just kind of going A to B, but. Between that and battlefields, eat up a lot of time. All right, this is it. And this this music is awesome. Yeah, I was gonna say chaos car music so good. It is. Alright, has an okay shape, I suppose. Whatever. I always thought that those guys looked like in uh, like Turtles in Time when the Foot Clan poke out of the oh, holes. Yeah. You know I mean? Like it's basically like a direct rip of that. Turtles in Time, dude, that game is awesome. It's a little bit cooler than this game. <laughs> Disagree. <It's just> a... <laughs> Nothing is cooler than this game. Slow your roll. Okay, so this is this dungeon is the best because you have two bosses. That you can just uh, you can just one shot. Yeah. So Another. so this is uh, this guy should look somewhat familiar. Guess what, brother? Hmm. You can you can life. <laughs> I don't even Die. care. Don't even care. You're dead, man. We did it. <laughs> so that's the first boss. We did it. Yeah. So Doom Tower is just you basically do um, fight refights. 
It, it, it's, it's basically revisits to all the main dungeons that you did before. Except one of them's gonna be pretty weird because we, uh. skipped it. This guy's even skipping the anchor shoe. Hell yeah! <laughs> Dude, that's where it's at. Dude, you're gonna crap. Can't wait to get petrified every every battle. Oh yeah. It'll be glorious. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm. I have faith in that. Put the surrender flag on that. Yeah, on the service. Service is the tail. <laughs> on the tail. <laughs> <laughs> God, the menu. <laughs> Left and right and up and down is too hard, man. Mm. It really is. <laughs> Alright, I think level 21 I can do sword, but there's only two in a way. I have to cure that too. Like, I can't leave her blind because life, again, is affected by blind, so. <laughs> Normally it wouldn't matter. But this boss. Yeah, so there's an item here that we used to get called the Aegis Shield. It prevents against, um, it makes you immune to paralysis and petrification. But thanks to, thanks to uh, excellent routing by Genya23, we don't get that anymore. So uh, most of the time, like I ideally, it's faster. But basically, like every enemy, yo, know, nice multiply. <laughs> Basically, uh, like every enemy in um, floor six of this tower can petrify and par paralyze you. So a lot of times it's not worth it. <laughs> We're doing it anyway. In honor of Genya. Genya SD3. Jimmy's not even old enough to have a Twitch account. <laughs> yeah, I don't. <laughs> Self destructs. Yeah, basically, like, except for the first fight, basically every other fight is go gonna be a first strike. So this is the second boss. The uh, Ice Golem was a jerk. This guy... I mean, he can be a jerk. He can be a jerk. <laughs> and I'm dead anyway. Yeah, dude, this is... this. Like, I, I have a highlight where I basically spend five minutes on this fight. Because he just kept killing me. <laughs> infinite. <laughs> Usually this guy just folds. <laughs> but the infinite not today, dude. Into a stone yeah. breath? Alright, oh, that's oh, fine. No, I prefer that over the infinite. Yeah, dude. Um, it's better than just the game, the battle never ending. Let's try again. Like as for as simple as these first two bosses are, you can still end up being here for a while. Yeah. It's really mm. stupid. Yo, check it out, you can exit him. Mm. Good boss? Good, Good boss. The next two are much less free. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Only you can Things do that shit. stop being free now. <laughs> <laughs> Not even Dark King is free, man. <laughs> Dark King can oh, troll dude. you. <laughs> Which is very funny when that happens. Cause he 
It should be free. <laughs> okay. You gotta do the same thing Nick did. <laughs> he is. I just wanna be cool like him, man. Dude, I love these, uh, I don't even know how to say this chick's name, but after you do damage to him, they just lose they're, all Yeah, they're her fault. <laughs> they're like, oh shit! They're like, oh! <laughs> That terrifying as a child. Yeah. That is a, a mini boss that you fight. That we skipped, so you didn't get to see him, see her. But that boss is fun too. Dude. I love the overworld sprite for the uh, server system. Just looks like a clump of dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Just like on top of each other, scrolling oh, around. Yeah. I'm stones. <laughs> Dude, they're the they are there bringing it. This uh, stone golem's bringing it today, dude. I think uh, this guy's bringing it. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Sure. As, as soon as ever hate walks into the room. <laughs> My luck got better for the most part, though. That's because you're. Shitty luck offset his. There's still a bird to come. <laughs> there is <laughs> still. Second fight for both of us. Yeah, we just had that first fight where yeah. we both got stoned to death. Alright. That's cool, I guess. No! Oh well. Mm. Not a big deal. Okay. Let's go. Let's do this. Twin head Wyburn. Twin head Wyburn. Just turn one anyway. Nice crit. So, like I mentioned before, uh, fire is very damaging. So I'm before there you go. <laughs> <laughs> It'll wreck your shit. Oh, I think she can. Oh. Dude. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> so it's worth noting, Age of Shield would have uh, kept me alive there. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Junior. You did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Magus was on Team Wyvern. For the relays. Mm. One through seven heal though. Strike first. Oh, almost, you can be fooled by this guy too, because he has four stages instead of yeah. three. Yeah. Dilapidated when he's doing this. Ow. Good fight though. Good fight. Mm. Very clean. All right. Now it's the real deal. The real, the real floor six. <laughs> real floor six. Fuck you, Jenya. <laughs> Yo, snowman though. Are you gonna snap out of it? I wonder. Let's reset. <laughs> and then he goes first. Okay. That made, that made a lot of sense. <laughs> so yeah, this is floor six of Doom Castle. Um, basically everything that's done in this floor, including the boss. <laughs> Marked like a dog for me. Oh, okay. Nice. 
So yeah, like that can one shot you. So these are just regular enemies that can stone you and one shot you, can insta kill you. Um, this is a really nasty floor. Yeah, this floor really sucks. There's also some uh, encounter luck with the Chimera battles. There's a uh, better and worse formations for these. Just because one forces you to use Meteor, Meteor the other you can use um, Flare. And Flare is just a lot faster. Bite. Oh, she'll survive a Fire Breath. Alright, let's do it. She will no longer survive that Fire Breath. Please leave me. You should die a little from this, though, I think. Not bad. Yeah, that was... We both had decent uh, wider fights. Yeah, that's the one where I think a crit Fire Breath can kill Fiddy. It, it can, yeah. <laughs> At full health, she'll still die. And once... Um, because of this new route, we skip Fireberg section, that's where the life spell is, so we don't have life. So once your companion dies, uh, it's, it's, it's a <laughs> DPS race, and usually you lose. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh yes, yes he does. Come back. Yeah, I've had really bad encounters every there was single one. Definitely, every single plenty one. Of time for a comeback. Oh much. my god, dude. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude. Will you just go, please? <laughs> this is it. <laughs> this is what I need. Is that what we want? Just channel every hate, dude. I tried that backfired on me real, or real like... nice. <laughs> Now you're definitely gonna be able to catch up. So yeah, there's a huge like this floor can swing. Like really good floors are really fast, really bad. Can you floors let me run, dude? Are terrible. Oh, did you not see it? No. It's. Thank you. Holy crap. Gotta keep track of your spells, man. Counting to five is actually very difficult. It really is. <laughs> I always see when I have one spell left. It's like, got the hit. Sick, dude. Ah! <laughs> 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 oh, dude. Oh yeah, so now oh I'm one fight behind. Okay, one yeah. fight behind. I forgot that this. But fight that was, was went from five Here. five fights behind in oh, floor sure. to. Well, that was a mistake. So. I mean the the menuing and stuff on the fights in this are pretty basic, but if you make a mistake, you definitely pay for it, especially this late in the game. Should be dead. He's not. So I need to heal, I guess. <laughs> nice cure, man. Tornado. Bark. Like a dog. Alright. <laughs> the fight was sick, dude. Much better. Like way better. <laughs> so you might have noticed before Big got into that fight, a familiar sprite in the bottom left of the screen. We get a fight. Pazuzu number two. And he's even worse. <laughs> Someone needs to make a perler of that Cerberus dude with the surrender flag on his tail. As much as I don't talk, like talk to Dan Show. Talk to Dan Show. Yeah. Maybe challenge. He's, he's the perler man. There you go, dude. <laughs> Philo makes perlers too. Did you see that uh, Deuce Hay perler that Dan Show Yeah. <laughs> you made a Deuce Hay perler? Hell yeah, I did. That. Ridiculous. That shit is hilarious, dude. I should probably just run. 
That was bad. You can go see the school. That would probably be more of a weekend project. Dude, that sprite has the worst colors on it too, that second to use your sprite. <laughs> oh my god. I've been there. This floor, this, this floor six is, these floor sixes are so strong. <laughs> yeah, dude, get out of here. Oh my wow. god. god. So, I don't even feel bad, dude. <laughs> so if, there, if there's any question as to why this is the best speed game ever, this is a clear indication of why. <laughs> it's giving me feel totally worth it. Oh, totally worth it, dude. <laughs> totally worth the time save. Oh, you dick. It's a, it's a minute. It's 50 seconds, I think. So yeah, you've got Chimera, Wish and Stone Breath you. You've got uh, Zoo, which can... Stone Beak you, and Doom Dance you. <laughs> Doom Dance is a cool ability. And he also, ha he also has a glitched move. So, Psych Shield. Alright, well, GG. <laughs> nice. Psych Shield is the same as. Uh, no, don't Psych Shield me. Um, where it reflects spells. Unless it's the glitched Psych Shield. Yeah, you don't get life in this round. <laughs> Um, nice, dude. There is a glitch psych shield, which is just. Ah, uh, he keeps doing it, dude, when I can't even kill him. So that's what happens when you cast a spell into psych shield. You die. It's actually faster to do it when you, you're, you're gonna die anyway. So if Zoo plays pretty bad here for Vic, like he has been. Yeah, Zero so Zoo, Zoo can just. Yo, nice snowman. <laughs> um, like, you can get stuck into a, in a pretty wicked Zoo Infinite. Because he will, he'll, he'll usually go before Phoebe. Um, and this jackass is still alive. Cool story. Let's do this. It's actually a little... <laughs> <laughs> this is a good first round. So you want him to do psych shields and use tornado and PB. Or Doom Dance and miss. But Doom Dance will probably not miss. Or will probably just kill you. Yo. Good first two turns. <laughs> Oh, nice crit. Yo, oh, nice power driver. Mm -hmm. Oh, I attacked! Oh, I put she crit again! Mm. Yo! <laughs> Sick. What if I... also got the badness with Phoebe dropping here. It's not over yet. No, not at all. <laughs> Well, <laughs> it's you, probably over. You can't. You can get trolled by Dark King, but not quite enough for uh, for the comeback to be real. I don't think so, man. You <laughs> never know, dude. You dude. never know, dude. Dark King fights. <laughs> dude, that was a really good first two turns too. Just double psych shield. <laughs> uh, psych shield. So this block, but this boss is cool. God, I can't see. <laughs> He's a really weird boss. Like his sprites are so bizarre. I I don't really know what they're thinking of. But we have a a cool a cool strap. Alright, we're in there. I guess I shouldn't say that yet. 
Yo! Sick. The paralysis. Uh, you know the do mints? I hate this game, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on, man. Oh, dude, I left them on auto. It's okay. Oh, she can't. It's okay. Now I can look out. Everyone will reset. That's okay. Oh, I'm paralyzed. Time. 2.15.43. Nice. Yo, am, I gonna go, right. am I gonna go over estimate? No! 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 Is that, dude, when's the last time you beat Feral? I don't know that I ever have. Uh, yeah, that, <laughs> might be, that might be the first. Yeah, because I, I started this before. I think I started this before you. Yeah. Uh, a little bit, yeah. So when we first started doing races. You also used to do solo runs here and there, too. Yeah, I've done, I think I've done like three. And you also don't. Frequently suck when I've very much video games, so. Yeah. I'll put you on auto, because, yeah. So yeah, how that boss works out is hopefully Elmagus is in chat and can explain it. <laughs> 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 but it's it's something like he is, he's so... Um, yeah, you basically just... All, the way I understand it is, um, like, he, he's so resistant that you, you overflow his uh, resistance and it just damages him in the set or something. I don't really know. There's a lot of the finer details you don't get when all you do is read Omegas' speedrunning guide. <laughs> well, you know, I bet you it's explained in there, but, you know, yeah. you only read the we, actual we don't, we don't actually parts. We don't actually care. <laughs> it's not. It's not necessary. Yo, the double doom dance! <laughs> they can fit in, dude. <laughs> Alright, let's do this again. Is even more fun on the version. Oh yeah. Shield bug, Sex Shield is not bugged in, in that version. I think his explanation is uh, he has so much AP, HP that if you wish really hard, really, really hard, you can kill him with <laughs> Sounds good. Nice. <laughs> I can't wait to get into this casserole now. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> That's your victory meal. Alright, this one's it. I think we should have had it on my audio. I mean, it was a pretty legitimate guess <laughs> that I would I would lose, so. It's the power of floor two and zoo really <laughs> propelled me to the top here. <laughs> That is perfect, okay. Um. Alright, we got this. I think we should kill him. Alright. Swag and Claw. Ooh, you suck. I can't count damage. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? <laughs> Math is hard. Oh, I don't count damage. Specifically, I just wait for his. Once he gets to this, he's usually one flare away. Jesus Christ, on my dick. <laughs> Jesus Christ, on my dick, dude. <laughs> uh, yeah! yeah Swaggy Claw! Estimate, boys. Oh, we got this. motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Dan sure would be proud. <laughs> he would be. Did the last race we did? I got two nineteen fifty seven. <laughs> I barely made it. <laughs> One bomb left. That's all you need. One bomb on my dick. <laughs> I 
Throw a bomb on him for good measure. Manipulation, dude. For Benjamin to go first. <laughs> dude, that'd be amazing. Which would actually be awful. <laughs> Ooh. That was a good crit. Nice crit. Nice miss. Nice miss. If he had killed Phoebe there, it would have been kind of bad. <laughs> How amusing! Okay, this is it. Rip in pieces, Phoebe. Time. This time. 2.20.58. Oh man, a good race. <laughs> Truly came down to a uh, test of skill. As expected. As, as with Quest, an execution, heavy, execution with, uh, heavy game like this. Yeah, Mystic Quest races always do. <laughs> Vic just saw the frames better. He did. <laughs> That's all it is. He did. Cool. That was fun. I think we got another sick race coming up next. We don't. It's Damn. <laughs> Nerm's non-RPG. 